What's up, everybody? Welcome to Parks' Rant, episode number 43, motherfuckers. Today is Sunday, June 11th, 2017, and it is a great fucking week. It is finally time. The time has come. It is EDC week. It is vacation week. My diet is almost fucking over. And this is what I've been bitching about and working towards and all that crap. It is finally fucking here. If you can tell, I'm happy. I'm fucking happy about it. This is the first time I haven't been just fucking flying off the handle pissed off at something. Um, that being said... It still has been a rough weekend. It's been a rough last week, um, and the week coming up is still going to be pretty fucking hard. I got a lot of shit to do. I did not get uh, time to get everything I needed to get done this weekend for this vacation. So, whatever, I'm just going to have to push it off. Um, But it's all good because, you know, everything is looking good. Obviously, got my hair did. What do you guys think? Look at that shit. Got my fucking rainbow hair going here you got my fucking rainbow sunglasses this freaking awesome shirt of a unicorn puking and shitting rainbow fucking juice how awesome is that i am fucking rainbowed out and you know what makes that shit even better i haven't got a fucking rainbow stuffed bowl how awesome is this fucking guy got this guy last year at the uh san diego county fair so He's been hanging out with me. He's been sitting here in my living room for a while. So this guy is fucking awesome. He's going to be hanging out with me. But over there. So whatever. So um, I'm going to give you guys an update of where we're at uh, with the whole weight loss crap. Since I, that's like the consistent thing I've been starting with. Um, also another heads up. Uh... I didn't really prep very well for this fucking episode because I've just been so busy. Um, Right now, I'm just waiting for my clothes to get done washing, and then I got to get out of here. I got to get to my girlfriend's house um, and get shit done over there, uh, you know, and get this week rolling. And so, yeah, I haven't really prepped for this very much, but I got a few notes here, so we'll just see how it goes. It might be a short episode. Um, Like I said, I'm going to start off with uh, the whole weight loss thing. Today is day 98 of my diet. I've been running this bitch for 98 fucking days and we're almost done. Two more to go, folks. Monday, Tuesday, and I'm out. I'm fucking done. I'm going ham. I'm going to eat, drink. We're going to bring back Miss Whiskey and Coke. I know you guys fucking miss her. And then um, I'm going to freaking uh, get going with all those other series of videos I want to do for you guys. Um, I've bought a bunch of different uh, beers. Uh, that were these special beers that were on sale this week um, from my favorite bar. And these are like really rare beers. And I will show you guys those in the future uh, in different episodes when I get around to them. Uh, the Cereal Sunday thing is going to be making a comeback. I don't know if you want to call it a comeback because I only did one episode really. And that was two weeks ago. And was it two weeks ago or was it last week? It was two weeks ago. Whenever. Remember, I did the, the Cereal Sunday thing. So I did that, and then... Um, damn, I'm saying um a lot, aren't I? It's fucking ridiculous. But anyway, I have cereal on order. I ordered some off of Amazon because, hell, why not? You know, I'm going to be on vacation anywhere anyways, and I can't really do a Cereal Sunday this week, like right now, today, because I'm still on my diet, and next week I'm going to be out having fun so hopefully the week after that i'll be bringing another cereal sunday i got some crazy cereals i found some that i've never heard of some that i didn't even know exist but are awesome that they exist some standard ones and some shit it's just like they made that into a cereal you know but we're going to give it a go we're going to give it a shot i'm going to fill up that big glass bowl that i had and i'm going to fucking dump the whole box in there with some milk stuff my fucking face let you guys know what I think, and then, you know, all you weird for uh, yeah, weird food porn people can sit there and beat off as you watch me stuff my fucking face and get fat again. Oh, man. The, like, the, the reason I'm so excited for this week is not so much my vacation. It's, it, it, like, I feel um, every year what happens is when I go to EDC and I go to this uh, thing, This like I said, this might be my last year, though. Uh 
as soon as my hair goes from normal to this, as soon as it changes color, it's game on. And that means summer is started. Fun is about to fucking get initiated and take off. So I'm like, I'm ready for my whole summer. It's not just this trip. It's not just this event. I mean, there's so much shit I plan on doing this summer. I got fucking plans on hanging out with my friends. We're going to go fucking out drinking and hanging out. I'm going to do some fishing, go use my kayak, I, you know, go to the fair. We're going to Vegas. There's a bunch of freaking great concerts coming up. And I can't remember if I told you guys about this, but I got tickets for my girlfriend and I to go see three of the fucking greatest bands of all goddamn time. I can't remember if I mentioned this in uh, previous episodes, but I'm just going to bring it up again because, no, memory sucks. But over the, ne the, the next few months, or at least through the end of the year, I have tickets for my girlfriend and I to see Metallica, which I've never seen live, so I'm fucking stoked about that. Scorpions, fucking one of the greatest bands of all fucking time, alongside Metallica also. They're both great. They're, okay, these are like these three bands are the fucking top, some of the top bands ever to fucking travel across the globe. Okay? So Metallica, awesome. Scorpions, fucking awesome, which I've seen them before. And then last but not least, as of right now, unless somehow I end up getting more tickets to something else, I am taking my girlfriend and my friend John to go see Guns and Fucking Roses, baby! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Talk about some of the heaviest hitters of all fucking time. Dude, that is the trifecta of holy fucking shit rock music right there. Oh, man. Just because I'm sitting here with fucking rainbow hair and rainbow sunglasses and a unicorn fucking barf shit rainbow shirt does not mean that I am just stuck in the world of EDM music. I love my EDM music. I love my fucking trance, my fucking house music, my hard style music. You fucking name it, I love it. I love the fucking culture. I love raving. It's awesome. But I also love my fucking hard rock music, my fucking death metal, and all that other stuff. So I'm not just a single genre kind of guy. So, like I said, as soon as this hair goes this color it, every year, it basically means summer's fucking started, and I am so fucking happy. I'm so happy because I've been working so hard for this summer to like you know come up. I'm, I I I look fucking amazing physically. You know, you guys might not think so. You'd be like, hey, you look like a fucking fag. Look at this guy. And his stupid hair and his fucking shit. Whatever, okay? Like I said, we're on day 98 of my diet. And that means in the last 98 days, since the beginning of March, I have dropped fucking 42 pounds. 42 pounds! How much weight have you lost, you lazy fuck? Just sitting there on your ass fucking staring at me talking shit? Eat it. Fuck you. I worked my ass off and I got some fucking results. That being said, I'm not at my goal yet. I'm well below the freaking weight goal I just uh, set for myself. But the body fat measurements aren't turning out the way they're supposed to. But we still got a couple more days. I'm going to check it again on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday night. And then... Um, and then do the third test. So I'm going to do two tests Tuesday night. And then the final test Wednesday morning. Right when I get out of bed. And that's going to be the end of it. Because Tuesday night's the end of my diet. Wednesday morning, just like when I wake up. That's the beginning of the refeed, as I'm calling it. I'm going to fucking be eating fucking so much food that day. And I'm not going to uh, completely unload before I go on my trip. I'm just going to... You know, uh, instead of having like a small portion of like oatmeal or something for breakfast, I'm going to double it, have a big ass portion of oatmeal. I'm probably going to have fucking like Jack in the Box for lunch. I'm actually going to have a like a latte or a frappuccino in the morning instead of just straight black coffee. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to, you know, start refueling my body, getting some fucking calories. Because if we're going to Vegas, 
And we're going to EDC. There's going to be a lot of dancing going on, which means a lot of energy is going to be burned off. And my muscles need to be repaired by then. And I need to have fucking energy stores ready to go. What, the, what is that called? The glycogen glycogen stores in your muscle? I think that's what it's called. I think it's called glycogen stores. So I'm rebuilding all that shit back up. And we're going to get it going. Um, speaking of the hair and EDC week and all that jazz. Um, you know, I'm going to take my sunglasses off. It's hard to fucking see. Um, first, I want to uh, say on the video, uh, um, thanking uh, my friend Cameo. Cameo, thank you so much for doing my hair. She's the one that does my hair every year, and it looks fucking awesome, like always. We, you did a great job. If I ever want my hair done again, you know I'm coming straight to you. And, uh, you know, if for some way you're ever able to make a career out of being a colorist or whatever the hell you called it, I suggest doing it. So thank you so much for doing my hair. Even though I know I'm going to catch a lot of crap for having it rainbow because it happens every fucking year and I always get fucking shit talked by everybody. And then, you know, it's like whatever. It's always either the fucking uh, people that are insecure with their fucking sexuality or they're extremely homophobic that have a problem with people with fucking rainbow hair. It's like, dude, it's just color. I don't know how people keep coming back to the whole uh, point that just the way certain light particles reflect off of certain portions of my hair back into the retina of their eye it determines my sexuality. I don't get it. it. makes no fucking sense to me. But fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, I just said that. But fuck it. But fuck it. Like a fag. Like a fucking fag! Fags are awesome. If you don't, if you don't like gay people, you're fucking missing out. And I don't mean like like gay people to where you want them to slam your ass because I'm not into that. But, I mean, dude, gay people are funny as shit, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. They are fucking hilarious. Um, all right, let's continue on with the whole freaking uh, EDC thing. Since I'm talking about it, I'm excited about it, I'm going to fucking keep it going. I have here my EDC ticket. Check that thing out. Woo, the daisy looks fucking awesome this year. And you can actually see in the black part of the ticket, like in the reflection, it looks like a, uh, you know, like a, like a, like a city street map or something that's kind of in there. It looks fucking awesome. What do you guys think? You guys like it? I like it. I think it's awesome. So let's open this bitch up. It pops out. What? And then the rest of this, you can just look at it. See, it says EDC Las Vegas 2017 on the side. Same thing, other side, you know. It's just blank on the back with that same like grid map thing. You can see it in the reflection. So that thing's awesome. But here's the inside of that. Thing's pretty freaking sweet. Got the the daisy on the front. It says Insomniac, EDC Las Vegas 2017. On the spine, same thing. EDC Las Vegas 2017. The Insomniac logo with a daisy up there at the top. On the back, just nothing. Just the Insomniac logo down the bottom. So. Here, we're going to open this. Got a cool freaking uh, daisy up front here. You have a, uh, a letter from the uh, founder of Insomniac uh, Events, Pasquale, Pasquale Rotella, if I'm pronouncing it right. I can't remember. So he kind of does a whole rundown of you know his little message to all the fans and the people that come out. It's always cool. It's different every year, so I like it. And then uh, from there, we open it up to the inside. We're going to start breaking this thing down. This is what you you see when you open it up on the inside. You got yourself a book. This thing that says Dusk Till Dawn because that's what it is. It runs from 7 at night till 5.30 in the morning. All fucking night you are partying and dancing and listening to the music and hanging out with the nicest people you've ever met in your goddamn life. That's what makes it awesome. So let's see what we got here. First, we open it. We got the book. Really cool looking book. It still has that same like street grid pattern. You can see it in the reflection there. That's like in there. It like it's fucking it's so awesome. It's really thick. Like the paper is really thick. It's it's not cheap. And on the back again, the Electric Daisy EDC logo. And then you open it. It's it's like I'm reading to a kindergarten class with you guys. And the inside here. You go, we all are EDC. We are all EDC. Shows a picture from last year, some information. So you just go through here. It's got pictures. 
Um, it's got a, a breakdown of the, the different stages. Cosmic Meadow stage there gives you information on that. Let's see. Circuit Grounds, one of my favorite stages of all time. Uh, let's see. Neon Garden, pretty awesome looking. This is all. These are all pictures from last year, so I was there. I got to see all this stuff already. Uh, base Pod, or as I call it, the uh, stage that ended up catching on fire, and they had to shut it down. It was kind of funny. Uh, that happened last year. So that was pretty interesting. And then uh, we got Wastelands, the hard style stage. I'll be spending quite a bit of time there. A few DJs I want to see there this year. Uh, let's see. Quantum Valley. This is a new stage for this year. This is uh, brought to you or hosted by Dream State, which is going to be all fucking trance music as far as I'm guessing. And I'm super stoked about that because that is actually what got me into EDM music at the beginning was trance music. And then I kind of you know, spilled out into other genres of it. I got the, uh, I started getting into the house music, especially the Melbourne style house music, the Australian style house. And then, um, you know, I, I felt like I dabbled in some of the trap music and the, uh, uh, drum and bass and, uh, dubstep and all that crap. Um, you know, I mean, there's stuff in each genre I do like, but then I also like start falling into some of the hard style stuff, but it's mostly trance and house are my two favorites. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then we got the upside down house. Take a look at that. It's actually a house that's built upside down looking and the DJ plays in there. That's usually just like a bunch of drone out music as far as I'm concerned. I don't spend too much time over there. I just go over there and look at it. And then, you know, I'll be like, yeah, that's cool, then I leave. And I got their Carnival Square, just whatever, it's a place to hang out. So let's see what other information got here. They got, uh, Information about uh, your ticket, information like uh, guidelines, tips, what you're allowed to bring in and you can't bring in, you know, prohibited items, uh, prohibited items, uh, accepted items, festival policies, identification, security, uh, zero tolerance on drugs and all that jazz, uh, amenities, saying where the drinks and food are, free water, uh, stuff you should bring, uh, tips on like what to like how to make your time more fun, stuff for the VIP guests, uh, stuff for a wealth, or not wealth, health and wellness, you know, um, saying, you know, like stay hydrated, all that jazz. If you get, if you guys know anybody that's going or you are going, make sure you do stay hydrated. Fucking please drink lots of water. Don't be taking a bunch of fucking drugs and ODing and being that idiot. You're there to have fun. Don't fucking go overboard. I understand having fun, but going overboard is very bad. Um, there's information there on how to get there. You know, uh, like parking, shuttle passes, all that stuff. And then they got advertisements for uh, some of their other events that are coming up. So, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. And then uh, some about the insomniac app which i already have downloaded i just haven't seen and then there's a couple pictures in here from last year if you guys want to check that out just showing you i mean obviously the camera quality is not the best but there's some stuff there's a picture of the main stage from last year pretty awesome so that's in the book uh let's see let's keep going through this thing what else did we get in here uh, da, 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 da. Oh, man, we got some some stickers here. Nice thing of stickers. EDC Las Vegas headliner Insomniac Owl. EDC 2017 Insomniac Records. On the back it says all shapes, all sizes, all colors, all people. EDC. Everybody is welcome here. There is no such thing as hate at this place. That's why I like it, and that's why I recommend everybody go to it at one point in their life. And then we get some other fucking thing in here that I can't goddamn get out. Little uh, EDC tattoos. Get the EDC logo and Sonyak logo, the owl. A couple of little cool things there. Uh, they gave me a $20 for a free ride from Uber. If it's my first time, so that's really cool. And then we got this on this other side. Dust till dawn. I'll pop that thing off. See, this thing comes off. Cool, huh? And then inside there, they gave me a piece of candy. 
it's not actually candy, obviously. It's a candy bracelet. It's got their weird trippy logos on it that say EDC and like code or whatever the hell they were trying to pull off there. They gave me a little pendant metal thing. Not really sure what those say. It probably says like peace, love, unity, respect or something like that. Or it says plur. I'm not really sure. It's all in their cryptid code. Um, they gave me my ticket. This is the actual ticket for the event. This is it right here. See, so it says admit one. It's got EDC and gold. It's a really awesome wristband. It is one of those things that it's got the RFID chip in it, so you can't scan it in under anybody else's thing. You know, if you lose it, you can have it voided out. And, you know, you can go swimming with this thing on, get it wet, all that jazz. They thought of everything because, you know, people will trash them. And then I have my shuttle pass on where I'm going to be picked up and all that stuff so I can get to and from the event safely without having to worry about being, oh, am I too tired to drive or did I have too much alcohol or fucking I forgot where I parked or something. No. I just don't worry about it. I just want, I'd rather have somebody else do it, make sure I'm safe and I'm covered and all that jazz. So let's put all that crap back in there. Close this shit up. It's kind of cool. This box is awesome. You know, it's all uh, got magnetics and shit to hold it closed. Uh, you know, so it's not just flopping open everywhere. And you guys can see behind me up here, like I pointed out before, that I have my EDC tickets from years past. I've collected all of them. Everything that's ever come in them is still in them. Um, the only thing I've actually taken out was this last year. This is a... Uh, a hologram magnet that I got last year. Check it out. So it says EDC Las Vegas and it has the date. It says Dust Till Dawn. This was the, it shows the uh, electric daisy from last year. This was the di uh, the design of it from last year. It's pretty cool looking. So this has been up on my fridge. And then uh, I think that was the first time they did that. And then this year I decided to order it again, pay the extra money. And it shows the new design of the daisy from this year. And this is a holograph one also. It's also got like those like, sound waves that come from behind the daisies it's pretty awesome so these things have been sitting up on my fridge i'm really excited the way it turned out it fucking it's freaking just awesome it's fucking awesome looking it really is and so let's close that go to the very back um and then to finish it off it says right here big ass letters you are edc awesome 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 it says you are the love and energy that can change the world. And boy, is that true. That is so true. But the problem is, when you're there, you're happy, you're having fun, you love everybody, and then you come back, and then the world just beats you down again like a piece of shit, and then you turn back into the normal asshole that you once were. Case in point, is staring right at you right now. I come back from this event every fucking year happy as a clam. Everything is great. I don't hate anybody. And then after like two months, I just want to fucking stab everybody in their goddamn neck again because they just know how to tear me down back into fucking the pile of shit that I once was. And I hate it. It fucking sucks. So at least I'm able to go to this thing once a year, fucking clean the slate, be happy, reset everything, come home. And at least have a you know the whole summer of enjoyment and being happy during the summer before the shitty weather and all that crap comes in. Um, so the other cool thing about this week, besides going to EDC in Vegas, is yeah I get to go do all that stuff. But uh, my friend John, he's got uh, his buddies coming out from Australia, and they're going to be meeting me out in Vegas. So I get to go out to Vegas not only to EDC, not only do I get to take my girlfriend, which is fucking awesome. But I'm also meeting up with other uh, ravers that I've met at different events. We're going to meet up out there and just hang out, which is freaking super cool. I get to hang out with my friend John and uh, some of his buddies and then the Australian guys that are coming out. I met uh, one of them before. He's been out here before. So I, I get to like kind of be with them for their very first Las Vegas trip. They're not going to the event, but you know, during EDC, all of Las Vegas – has EDC stuff going on. It's kind of like Comic Con down in San Diego, except in Vegas for a different thing. So I'm excited to be there with them. Uh, they're going to be heading out the same day I'm heading out, so we're, I'm going to be out there earlier than they are. 
but we'll get to meet up and then we're all going to go out drinking together and fucking just wander the strip and fucking see all the other raver people looking like me with fucking rainbow shit on and everyone's going to be happy and hammered and it's 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 just so fucking fun i'm so excited i mean look ah i'm so fucking happy oh man it's gonna be great and then i get to take my girlfriend to edc um that yeah that's gonna be interesting because i really hope i can get her to experience it the way it's meant to ex- be experienced because the only thing about my girlfriend that i'm worried about taking her is she has a problem with just letting go she keeps thinking i can't do that because you know i like like she's like too set on being responsible you know i get it you have to be responsible and stuff but it's like you know this is the time you're going to be at a place where you can let go. It doesn't matter what you dress like. It doesn't matter if anybody's watching you dance. It doesn't matter if you're fucking out there having a few drinks, getting drunk, and listening to music, and just fucking woo! You don't have to be uh, reserved. That's what I'm trying to get at. Like I want her to come out of her shell, and that's what I'm hoping for this trip out to here hopefully i can just let her open up and just get the experience youthfulness again without you know all the heaviness and worry and like responsibilities that you normally have weighing down on you here at home because yes she has a very responsible job a very fucking uh tough career as do I, not as tough as hers, but mine's, you know, I have to be responsible, I have to be paying attention, all that crap, and this is the one time where I get to go out there and just be like, you know what, nothing in the past matters, nothing in the future matters, it's right now is what matters, and that's the fucking hard part, that is the fucking hardest part, is getting to that point, um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, and so that's what that is. And since we're kind of on that subject here, I'm not saying I'm doing this, but I just figure, uh, you know, when you're out partying and stuff, people are going to be taking certain kinds of things, alcohol, drugs, all that crap. It happens everywhere you go. It's not just raves. Um, but I did want to bring up something. If I got time to talk about it here. I found this. I just wanted to mention it. I'm not doing this personally because I think it's a bad idea. Um, but there's a study... Uh, that says magic mushrooms are the safest recreational drug. And uh, this was on the USA Today Network by a woman named Mary Bowerman. So if you want to go check that out, it says a new survey found that when it comes to recreational drug use, magic mushrooms appear to be the safest drug. Who knew? Go figure. Besides weed, obviously, that's way safer. Because, it, you know, go figure, weed, mushrooms, naturally grown, they come out of the ground, nothing happens to it, and they're fucking safe. Weird. Only 0.2, 0.2% of almost 10,000 people who reported taking psilocybin hallucinogenic mushrooms in 2016 reported that they needed emergency medical treatment, according to the annual Global Drug Survey says the survey of more than 120,000 participants in 50 countries found that the rates of emergency medical treatment for MDMA, LSD, alcohol, and cocaine were almost five times higher, which means fucking alcohol. You hear that? That's the one I'm pointing out here out of that fucking list because alcohol is fucking legal, folks. And that still says five times higher higher rate of people fucking having emergency situations on alcohol than they did with hallucinogenic magic psilocybin mushrooms. Fucking weird, don't you think, folks? Also says here, this says, uh, magic mushrooms can be risky and cause panic attacks or confusion. That is true. Adam Winstock, a consultant addiction, a consultant addiction psychiatrist, and founder of the Global Drug Survey told The Guardian. All right, I guess it's for The Guardian or something. I don't know. Is, oh, no, he says this. Uh, quote, 
Combined use with alcohol and uh, use within risky or unfamiliar settings increase the risk of harm most commonly accidental injury. Panic and short-lived confusion, disorientation, and fears of losing one's mind. So, they're just saying if you're going to do mushrooms, be in a safe environment. Don't combine it with anything else. Be around people you know. Be in a safe place. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to try to skip through this. Uh, it says, while there have been unfortunate incidents involving magic mushrooms, there have been studies that have shown psil psilocybin mushrooms could help treat severe depression and anxiety. Um, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And it shows people in which countries probably do the most. All right, um, so I'm just saying, if you guys are going to go out and party, apparently it sounds like do some weed, do some mushrooms, have some alcohol. Don't mix them together, anybody. Do not mix substances. Do one at a time. Let it clear your system. Do not have a bad time. Be responsible. Have fun when you need to. Get your ass back to work on Mondays. I'm going to leave you with that one. And thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, all that crap. Parks Plant, P-A-R-K-S-P-L-A-N-T. Instagram is Porky, P-O-R-K-Y, 1106. You'll see all the cool stuff from EDC as I'm out there. And I'm going to leave you with this one. Living in the moment is one of the most difficult yet rewarding experiences you'll ever have in your life. So be sure you fucking search it out and do your best. Live in the moment, have the moment, save the moment. I'll see you guys on the next episode.